to extend the capabilities of human operators. DSO also experimented with unmanned underwater vehicles for mine countermeasure operations. Developed with ST Electronics, DSO designed the Meredith to move deep into danger zones. These kind of vehicles can actually go much closer to the mines. So by using unmanned technology, your human operators can then focus on the higher level tasks of uh, you know, decision making and moving up the value chain. You just program it to do a certain task and then it does its task on its own. On board, there's also an autonomous auto detection and classification of mine like objects. So, if they spot something that's a very high probability of being a mine, they will actually send back the information. It helps the operator concentrate on these high, high probability targets. Our vehicle is out there. Sometimes it might be swimming under vessels. You need a very high level of confidence in your system to be able to perform this kind of task. And in terms of the sonar, all the noise that you get uh, from the man-made noise like shipping, as well as uh, natural noises like in the tropical environment, you have a lot of marine noises. So we develop algorithms to be able to filter or ignore all these noises. Uh, at the same time, also give us a lot of hands-on experience and expertise that how all these technologies will work, how is the best way to deploy these technologies, and how are we supposed to swim the vehicle to get the best results. The Meredith PUV is a very good test bed. We are able to test different type of technology. So we developed, let's say, new AUV capabilities or new sonar payloads. We're able to put it on this Meredith AUV and to test it out in real life. How does it perform in our environment? The project actually grew with you. As, as you grow and mature, your technology and your projects also grow and mature. So the AUV has grown in capability and also has matured in the sense that it's now more reliable than before.